السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله all praise and thanks is due to Allah Azza wa Jal. Peace and salutations upon Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Salawatullahi wa salamuhu alayhi. Peace and salutations upon his family, upon his friends, and upon all those who try to emulate him until the end of time. In today's video, we will be looking at the virtues and the rulings of Udhiyah, also known as Qurbani or slaughtering one's sacrifice. The word Udhiyah means an animal of the an'am class meaning a camel a cow a sheep or a goat that is slaughtered during the days of eid al adha because of the eid and as an act of worship intending to draw closer to allah azza wa jal this is one of the rituals of islam prescribed in the book of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yani the quran and in the prophetic sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and according to the ijmadi consensus of the Muslim ummah in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says قُلْ إِنَّ الصَّلَاةِ وَنُسُكِ وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ بِذَلِكْ وَأُمِرْتُ وَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says that say O Muhammad kul inna salati that indeed my salah and my sacrifice and my living and my death is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la sharika lahu and he has no partner and Allah has no partner and of this I have been commanded and I am of the first Muslims so Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is explaining a few things that indeed my salah and my sacrifice nusuk and the word nusuk is translated as sacrifice which means sacrifice in the terms of to slaughter one's sacrificial animal Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in another surah in another verse فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَنْحَوْ and therefore turn in prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in sacrifice to him only so my beloved brothers and sisters in Islam our sacrifice our qurbani our slaughtering of our animals it is only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we do not render our sacrifice for any other beings whether they are alive or dead Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in Surah Al-Hajj, and for every nation we have appointed a religious ceremony that they may mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala over the beast of camel, that he has given them food and your ilah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is one ilah, submit to him alone and give glad tidings to the Mukhbitun, those who obey Allah with humility and are humble from amongst the true believers. This is in Surah Al Hajj. In the Sunnah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Anas ibn Malik, he said that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sacrificed two white rams speckled with black. He slaughtered them with his own hands and he said, Allahu Akbar, and he put his foot on their necks. In another hadith, Abdullah ibn Umar, he said that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he stayed in Medina for 10 years, offering his sacrifice, his qurbani, his udhiyah, every year on the day of Eid. Bara ibn Azim, he said that the Prophet peace be upon him said, whoever offers a sacrifice after the prayer has completed the rituals of Eid and has followed the way of the Muslims. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he offered sacrifices as did his companions. May Allah be pleased with all of them. And he said that sacrifice is the way of the Muslims. Hence, the Muslims are unanimously agreed upon. There is ijma amongst 
the ulama of this ummah that it is prescribed in Islam as was narrated by more than one of the scholars of this ummah. The next important mas'ala is udhiyya, is qurbani, is our sacrifice, is it wajib, yani is it compulsory or is it sunnah? Majority of the scholars of the view that it is sunnah mu'akkada. This is the view of Imam al-Shafi'i of Malik and Ahmad as well as the madhahib according to the most well-known views in the madhabs. Others had another view and this was the view of Imam Abu Hanifa and others that it is wajib, it is compulsory. This was also a view favored by Ibn Taymiyyah rahimallahu ta'ala. Shaykh Muhammad ibn Salih al Uthaymin, may Allah be pleased with him, he said, The udhiyya is a sunnah mu'akkada for the one who is able to do it. So a person should offer the sacrifice on behalf of himself and his members of his household. Does the slaughtering of one sheep suffice for the household? One sheep is sufficient as an udhiyah for one man and his whole family, meaning the father of the house, the husband, he has a wife and children. They make a qurbani and they render this for themselves and for their whole family. This is sufficient. So one udhiyah is sufficient for the whole family. Aisha radiallahu anha who said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he ordered that a ram with black legs, a black belly and black circles around his eyes should be brought to him so that he could sacrifice it. He said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to Aisha, give me the knife and she did that. He took it and then he took the ram and placed it on the ground and slaughtered it prepared for his slaughter etc and he said in the name of Allah O oh Allah accept the sacrifice on behalf of Muhammad and the family of Muhammad and the ummah of Muhammad and then he sacrificed this this is narrated by Imam Muslim rahimallahu ta'ala a man sacrifices a single sheep or goat on behalf of himself and his family that will suffice for everyone he intended of his family whether they are living or deceased. If he did not intend anything specific, then it includes all those who are included in the word family or household, either customarily or linguistically. And this refers to all those whom he supports, yani his wives, his children and his relatives, etc. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. With regards to a camel or a cow, one seventh is equivalent to one sheep. So if a person sacrifices one seventh of a camel or a cow on behalf of himself and his family, then this is sufficient because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that one seventh of a cow or a camel takes place of a sheep in the case of a hadi, a sacrifice offered during hajj. So this would apply to the udhiya as well. The last point, if two or more people buy a sheep, so uh, a sheep costs a thousand rand, I give five hundred rand and someone else gives five hundred rand. This is not sufficient because there is no such thing being reported in the Quran and the Sunnah with regards to this. Similarly, if eight or more people share on one camel or one cow, then this is not sufficient. But it is permissible for seven to share a camel or a cow because acts of worship, they are prescribed in the Quran and the Sunnah and it is not subject to personal opinion. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide and protect us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our shortcomings. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ashadu wa la ilaha illa astawfiruka wa tubu ilayk.